Vancouver Point Grey. Madam Speaker, the Minister for Advanced Education has advised this House that his cut of $46 million uh, to our advanced education system will somehow not affect the quality of BC education. But, Madam Speaker, the Minister of Advanced Education was on the board of Kwantlen University when the president of that institution signed a concerning letter to the provincial government. The letter said, quote, it is unrealistic to assume that the reductions contemplated by Budget 2012 can be achieved without implications for service levels. Of course, now, in Budget 2013, the Minister is proposing even more cuts. Madam yeah. Speaker, does the Minister agree with the President of Kwantlen University that further cuts to the Budget for Advanced Education in BC will impact student services? And if so, Madam Speaker, will the Minister tell this House and BC's university and college students what student services will be affected? Minister of Advanced Education. Madam Speaker, it indeed gives me great pleasure to speak about the state of advanced education in this province. For a couple of facts, I think that the public should know first of all, the level of funding for post-secondary education in this province is at record levels. <laughs> Let me give you an example. The hard-working citizens of British Columbia support public education, post-secondary public education, to tune of $5 million every single day. And if you want to use some real math, and I won't, we won't talk about magical math, but real math, that's $1.9 billion a year to post-secondary education in this province. And Madam Speaker, let's talk about our, our post-secondary education. A survey is done of students every year. The satisfaction rate is 95 per cent. In my <laughs> Madam Speaker, when I went to university, that was an A+. That's the state of university education in this province, Madam Speaker. Point I'm, I'm disturbed uh, that this House did not get an answer to the question. When the Minister, when the Minister of Advanced, when the Minister of Advanced Education served on the on Kwantlen's board, he was certainly aware of this letter from the President, warning the government that advanced education budget cuts would lead directly to student service cuts. Surely he agreed at the time with a letter signed by the president of the institution where he served as a board member. Given that the minister has now apparently changed his mind and flip-flopped on this issue, Madam Speaker, can the minister advise this House when he changed his mind about the impact of cuts to advanced education leading to service reductions and why he changed his mind? Minister of Advanced Education. Well, well, Madam Speaker, this side of the House certainly knows about flip-flops that we've seen in the uh, last election. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there was a citizen in this province that didn't see that flip-flop. But let's talk about post-secondary education, folks. This government was elected to control spending and living within our means and ensure taxpayers get what they need to ensure students Folks, there are, there are record, record investments in post-secondary education, Madam Speaker. Record investments. Let me speak about the $134 million that's going to Emily Carr University of Arts and Design. <laughs> Madam Speaker, $29 million to the Komosom Trades Renewal Project. Let me tell you more. $28 million to the Okanagan College Trades Project. Thank you, Minister. 
Thank you, Madam Speaker.